<laughs> okay. Love me, Imong Shrim. Show it in the camera, please. Yeah. Shrimp are so much more than seafoods to be boiled or fried after they're dead. I'm privileged to live and scuba dive in the Philippines and on almost every dive I see these curious, very pretty little animals. They often dance. There are so many different species of shrimp and many show pronounced ecological specialization. This species typically lives on bubble corals like this one or on anemones and you rarely ever see them anywhere else. Here a group of them lives on the perimeter of a tube anemone and they're dancing. It's not quite clear why they're performing these odd movements. Probably it has something to do with social communication between the animals. Now the word shrimp denotes a large number of small crustaceans which are sometimes not in particularly closely related to each other. This animal here is a mantis shrimp. Look at the amazing colors on this one. Not only is the body of this shrimp extremely colorful, its eyes are also very good at seeing colors. And scientists have dedicated a lot of time and effort to finding out how exactly this amazing little shrimp see. This mantis shrimp have a particular curious and probing character. And I observed this one in its little burrow for 20 minutes during a dive. This smaller mantis shrimp here took a home in the shell of a dead sea snail and it decided to hide in the center and just occasionally come out when it saw me. Now this mantis shrimp is much larger and it decided to live in this burrow in the sand and wait for fish swimming by and then to prey on them. So not only are there a lot of species of shrimp, they also live in a lot of different habitats and do a lot of things in their lives. This one is at home in an anemone and again it performs a beautiful dance for the entertainment of divers. So I hope the next time you see a shrimp, you think of it as a beautiful complex animal 